take a closer look at the Dell Precision 5820 today. This isn't your typical Dell Precision 5820. It's a special version that accommodates Intel i7 and i9X series processors, whereas most Dell Precision 5820 workstations support only Intel Xeon processors. It's equipped with an Intel X299 Skylake Cascade Lake X chipset, and can support a maximum memory of up to 256GB 2666MHz DDR4 UDIM. However, this specific system lacks support for error correction memory. The front I.O. ports include two USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type A and one USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type C, along with a universal headphone jack. Additionally, this model offers an optional DVD drive. These systems are great for gaming, video editing, or your home lab. Upon removing the bezel, it's evident that this system features a backplane capable of supporting four 3.5-inch hard drives. However, this specific system didn't come with trays, as the leasing company removed the drives along with the trays. Typically, these trays are quite affordable, selling for just $5. Turning our attention to the system's rear, you'll notice a 950-watt hot plug power supply at the top. The back is equipped with numerous I.O. ports including six USB 3.1 Gen 1 Type A, one serial, RJ45 network, two PS2, one audio line out, and one audio line in microphone. This specific system also features an extra card with an RJ45 network port, which we plan to remove later. Additionally, there are several PCIe expansion ports available. Let's delve into the internals of the system. As you'll notice, it's equipped with an abundance of PCIe expansion slots. However, one of these slots is deactivated due to the chipset's design compatibility with i7 and i9 CPUs, which can't manage as many PCIe lanes as their Exeon counterparts. The system is powered by a robust 950-watt power supply, capable of supporting multiple gaming or professional video cards. It also features two GPU power connectors. The CPU and memory are housed beneath a plastic air baffle, which we'll proceed to remove next. Upon removing the air baffle, the heat sink, and a single memory module become visible. At present, this system lacks a CPU and contains only one memory module. We plan to equip it with an i9 CPU and augment its memory. The system is designed with a total of eight memory slots. The heat sink incorporates a built-in fan, and there are an additional two large fans to ensure optimal cooling for both the CPU and memory. Here's a rundown of the components we'll be incorporating into this build. The GPU is an RTX 3060 Ti, capable of handling the demands of most contemporary games. Specifically, it's a NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti Founders Edition FE, boasting 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory and a dual fan setup. Our memory configuration will consist of four 16 gigabyte modules, summing up to a substantial 64 gigabytes of memory, ample for gaming or video editing tasks. Please be aware that this system does not accommodate ECC memory. The CPU of choice is the Intel Core i9-7940X X series processor, featuring 14 cores and a turbo speed of up to 4.3 GHz with a power rating of 165 watts. The heatsink is highly efficient, complete with an integrated fan and three copper pipes. We've successfully fitted the video card, memory, CPU, and a standard NVMe card loaded with our suite of testing and benchmarking software. Our next step involves installing the heatsink, after which we'll proceed to conduct some benchmark tests for both gaming and video editing. Presenting the results, it's important to note that this system operates with remarkable quietness, and is constructed with the same high quality as other Dell Precision professional workstations. It's capable of running Fortnite at 270 frames per second at a resolution of 1080p, or Battlefield at 160 frames per second at the same resolution. This workstation is adept at editing videos at 4K resolution, and can even handle 8K, albeit at reduced frame rates. Oh.